To summarize then the design objectives underlying IEC 61850, uh, we, when we set out to develop the standard, we wanted to address the data management cost drivers using modern communications techniques. We wanted to achieve a high degree of application interoperability using standardized object models. We also wanted to simplify substation engineering using by using a common configuration language. This also addresses a lot of the data management issues. And one important piece to it is the online validation of the substation communications using both metadata and self-description. The self-description piece, we weren't looking to do plug and play, but we did want to be able to do online validation of everything. So basically everything that's described in the configuration language is also available through the underlying services. So you can find the object model of the device at the device. You can find the capabilities of the device both in the configuration files and in the end device through this self-description techniques. So this is an important piece that we can both configure these devices and then once they're operating, validate that they in fact are talking to the systems that they think they are and that the data is organized in the way that it's supposed to be. So it's both both offline configuration and online validation. This is different than plug and play. We're really not interested in, in trying to get into plug and play issues within the sub, substation, but we did want to be able to plug and validate. 